Hi, my name is Bryce. I forgot I saved here. Uh, hi, my name is Bryce. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing The Legend of Dragoon and recording it all on VHS. Hey, uh, last time we were grinding and I rambled forever about um, my tech stack stuff. So, hey, uh, we're not doing that. If, if you're curious about how any of this stuff works and for whatever reason this is your first video here, hey, last one is a... Uh, it's fine. Um... <laughs> Last one's a great one if you're curious, how do I do all this and actually record on VHS? Uh, it's it's a long process, in short. Um, anyway, so I'm stuck uh, and lost and stuff, and I'm, I... I've been trying to avoid walkthroughs uh, so far with this game just because it's like... You know, this game is like 20 years old, and I have the opportunity of coming at it entirely fresh because um, outside of, like, starting the game once and getting, like, the first fight in um, and just kind of going, hey, this is kind of neat, and seeing the ads as a kid, like, that's about all I had to go off of, of like, what is this game? Um, yes. So, like... <laughs> I have that rare opportunity of coming at this game that is, you know, 20 years old, but still with, like, fresh eyes and no prior experience and all that stuff. But also, um, I'm not exactly sure how... Just how. <laughs> uh, like, where I'm... Again, so, so uh, basically we're supposed to be going to the Helena prison uh, and saving the king. Uh, and I sure would like to get on that, but um, I was doing that and then we had bad footage and I had to undo things, but also I died anyway, so no progress was actually made. Um, PS3 controller got uh, stuck <laughs> on the stick got stuck somewhere. Anyway, um, in short, there's a boss that completely destroyed me, and there was like a little a little hint slash tactics thing. Uh, I don't know which character was actually speaking, but one of the characters was just like, "Hey, if we just put it to sleep, it'll be fine." I don't have a way to put things to sleep. So that's what this whole backtracking side quest is about right now. It's just like, hey, did I just like walk by like a reusable item or something that will let me uh, put this boss to sleep? It's also uh, grinding to try to get some levels um, because, hey, maybe if Shauna reaches the level two um, or maybe just a higher level in general, I don't know, maybe maybe she'll find something, because she is kind of like the healer... She's the healer-type dragon, I guess. Um... Anyway. All in all... <laughs> I'm kind of stuck in this game. So we are backtracking to see if I missed something. Um, and I'm trying not to look at walkthroughs because, like, it's such a rare opportunity to, like, play a game that has been out for years and just not know things. And I think that's neat. Even though it is kind of causing me a lot of pain with this game right now. <laughs> uh, at least it's a different sort of pain uh, than the game has been causing me previously. Um, one which, like, I'm willing to work through. Mostly. Um, do weird little humps because you can So anyway, that took five minutes to talk about the where we're at and why I'm here. Did I run into one of those little dudes? Because they're kind of neat. 
I don't think it ran into a salamander before. Also apparently run out of anything to talk about. <laughs> I don't know, like I'm still I feel like I don't need to do this. I don't I don't need to ever hit the Dragoon button for Shauna to level up Dragoon stuff. Where? Probably. I need to remember that I can just cycle through this menu entirely and just go from attack to Dragoon and not have to go across the entire thing. Um Still, just trying to feel, figure out how I feel about this game overall so far. Um, like it started, it started as like, oh hey, I'm I'm intrigued by various aspects of this, but like, hey fish, <clears throat> um, the I feel like every time they they. They've just been mean to Shauna. Okay, I can... Can I skip that? Maybe I should try harder. Do, 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 do. experience for each of these fights mm. feels not great anyway it's like I'm again I really see like the potential in this game but it's just been like having a hard time getting revved up and started basically. That's dead end. Not where I want to go. I do feel like the game's done Shauna dirty a lot, and I, I again like this is why I keep using Shauna in my party because, um, well, hey, it's a special button. Let's go to Rainbow Road.
<laughs> well, that was a fun little visit to that nonsense. Still not entirely sure what that's about. Like, it seems to just be like a, hey, everybody go Dragoon all at once. It does also seem like when I did that before as Lavitz, um, his attack got to skip the whole attack ring thing. Covers jerk. Yes. A spirit cloak, hello. What did we just get? Spirit Cloak increases escape rate from magical attack by 20 points. That is a weird... Again, the translation in this game is just weird and it does feel like it was very literally translated and not quite localized. And again, localization and translation are both difficult, but like this feels like it's been some sort of like Japanese textbook sort of translation. That's a lot of body purifiers. Um, again, I'm still not sure if there's actually any reason for like any of these Is there a reason to, like, do the other additions and stuff? Is it just a grind vector? Like, <laughs> there's so much about this game, I don't know, and, like, that's... That's kind of, like, the exciting thing. And again, like, this is kind of why I want to avoid looking at a walkthrough quite yet for this game. Um, but, like, I might break down and start doing that soon, because... Like, I don't want to just sit here and play this game <laughs> forever, uh, trying to find, like, something that will let me, you know, put enemies to sleep. Yes. New Magic Star Children. Hooray! The level two. We made it. Would be great if I could actually, like, view this in a menu? I can see what the name of the spell is. Um, great. <laughs> oh, it's, like, this is the sort of thing, like, okay, so here's the other deal, is, like, I do have the manual for this game, and I have, like, I've done a full read of it at some point, and I have kind of flipped through, it, flipped back through it a couple of times since starting this playthrough, um, just kind of skimming it for random bits of information. Um, there has not been 
before we go back in there, we're going to save. Um, as far as I remember, I didn't see like a spell list or anything. And like, here's here's a weird thing. Um, just had that panic moment of just like, oh god, did I hit record on the VCR? I did. Um, <laughs> here's the thing about like old game manuals. They back in like the NES era, they gave you like a walkthrough for like the first third or half of the game. Uh, <laughs> just flat out like in the back of the manual. Um, I mean, heck, even like even as far as Final Fantasy VI, I'm pretty sure it gives you a a walkthrough for like the first while. Um, and it, like this is this is the sort of thing of just like game manuals used to have just like so much random stuff in them. Um, All right, you're going to go Dragoon, just so I can see what the magic even does. It's just a light attack for everybody. Cool. news I really need to play tunic um, <laughs> the game looks just super rad and also uh, deals a lot with like game manual sort of things it looks like uh, which that's that's just like right up my vibes oh <sighs> hello rabbit thing other rabbit things But like, this is not to try to just be like back in my day. Like this, this is kind of like the thing. It's like it's. I'm always torn on this aspect because, yes. boy howdy, uh, it does suck having a bunch of old games that I, you know, like I have had since I was a kid that you know sure didn't take care of things like manuals and maps and like all the random like stuff that was tucked in with the game um so like a lot of that is lost to me and i have to like rely on uh oh. can't actually get to the rabbit things cool that was actually the split in the path where i wanted to go Hurry, we could go back to Bale, it looks like. Anyway, the whole backtracking was about going over here to the right. This is the target. This is where we wanted to go. Hello, crow.
anyway, like, games not having manuals anymore means that, like, tutorial systems have to have, like, everything in them. And... It's good that that stuff is, like, available in a game. Um... And, like, there's that weird transition period where, like, games hadn't figured out how to do tutorials well yet. Um, so you have, like, the weird, here's the tutorial level, and here's, like, the do the tutorial right, or else we're going to fail you, and then, you know, throw the same, like, canned speech at you five times in a row until you get it right. Um, and, like... Games have definitely gotten better at, at this whole aspect of everything of... Hello, open treasure box. I've never been here. Who stole my treasure? I wonder if this treasure would have been unstoled if I came here earlier. Like... This just feels real rude right now. <laughs> just like, hey, look at all this treasure you could have had. random piano, like, moody piano music. Anyway, like, games have gotten really much better about, like, the actually teaching, you know, how to play and all that other stuff. But there's, like, the other aspects of manuals that we we kind of lost. Like, the weird extra bits of backstory and lore and junk. Is that it? There's just, like, a bunch of open boxes. I'm so... This feels real garbage. <laughs> like this is this is a garbage feeling right now. Boy, howdy! Here's like five chests that are empty. I have a sneaking suspicion maybe the chests weren't always empty, but they probably were. I don't know. <sighs> Lavitz, why are you so slow? Anyway, all in all, old game manuals were really kind of neat. They had just, like, so much extra stuff in them. They had all this, like, really adorable art. Like, do yourself a favor and look up the uh, the 
manual to the original Legend of Zelda, there's so much great art just hanging out. <laughs> Like, there's some really, really adorable little, like, chibi links uh, in various poses with items and junk. And, like, it's really, it's really just delightful. In such a place, Stardust. There's nobody who warms themselves in here anymore. But also, like, I think about things like Wizardry 4? I think it's 4. Um, which, boy howdy, that's one of those things that's like, I'd love to finish playing through someday, but man, it is. As much as I love a first-person tile-based dungeon crawl adventure along the lines of wizard Wizardries and Etrian Odysseys and such, um, they are... Um, a chore to get through in a, a, a bit. Just... I love them dearly, but they tend to be really long. <laughs> and there's always like a, you know, a pretty brutal difficulty spike somewhere along the way. Oh boy, the red flavored. I need to read read the manual in full for this game, quite frankly. I don't remember anything about this special option for combat. Get extremely dead, mushroom. <laughs> That was a detour, in fact. Just wanted to turn left at the road. <laughs> That's all I wanted. Ugh. Anyway, so like Wizardry 4. Um, Wizardry in particular is like one of those. This is this is another thing. Just like knowing having having descriptions in the game is of course a godsend. Um. But there is some part of me that always kind of appreciates, like, having to have the manual on on hand to decipher what the heck, uh, like, a certain spell is going to do, or whatever. Um, I mean, it is 100%, if not more so, uh a good thing that games have descriptions nowadays for like all the various you know skills and spells and whatnot so you don't have to have you know a, a secondhand document to like refer to in order to like you know hey what does this spell do is is this going to be the like cure spell or is this going to be like the uh <laughs> is this cure or heal and what does that mean um that was always a fun one, uh, as a kid, like, going between, um, oh, I want to say, like, Dragon Quest, 
we'll, we'll say Dragon Warrior in this case because again, it kind of speaks to the specific version and releases of those those games. Um, anyway, I'm pretty sure Dragon Quest used heal for like recovering hit points and. Uh, I, do I care what these people are saying? They would never use the entire neighborhood to invade Bale. Oh, God. Um, words, things, and stuff. Anyway, like, <laughs> heal in Final Fantasy was the recover status effect, and heal in Dragon Warrior was like, cure hit points. I do understand the feelings of this person very clearly. But he has some other things. But he has to endure now. I understand it's hard now. King Albert is in danger. I cannot do anything, Arg. Anyway, I'm pretty sure my entire endeavor uh, to come out back this direction uh, is in fact a waste of everyone's time, which is delightful. Um, Dad, Mom, whimper. I'll be at night. I'll become a knight just like my pa. I cannot cry anymore. Kid, you can cry all you want. Crying is fine and it is in fact healthy. You should do that. It's fine. You do not have to bottle up your emotions. As long as the war continues, the number of children like these will increase. This was extremely unimportant. Oh no, Bale was invaded! The road is not fixed yet, it is off limits because it is dangerous. Oh, you mean that path up there, not like an actual road. My wife is safe and the house is fine. I could have protected everything, but it would have been pointless if we were duel by duel. Cool. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, game manuals were neat. I kind of miss them, but it is also really nice that games don't... Games try to get around needing them. Um, I do... Something I did really appreciate about Vagrant Story was that it had, like, the full... It essentially had the entire manual in the game. Um, just, like, under under a specific option. I don't remember uh, if it was the, like, called manual or tutorial or... I cannot remember the, the menu item name for it. But it was very much just like a, hey, this is, this is the codex of, like, game systems and junk. So, hey, <laughs> if you have any questions about like how this game works, here's all of the information. Um, I do, I do really like that, like having that full system overview just like available. Um, and like games will also do a lot of, you know, unlocking unlocking more aspects and controls and like things that you can do or like they're they won't tutorialize something until you come across it hey we can in fact not go back to bail uh and i it might be faster at this point to go through the limestone cave back yeah this will actually be faster i think Neat. 
Yeah, like... I don't know, this gets into, like, so many aspects of just, like, little game things. Of, of game tutorials and tutorialization is a whole dang deal. Manuals had, like, this other, like, these other aspects that were pretty cool. I think ultimately, like, what I've been trying to say in way too many words, it's just like, I do miss the aspect of, like, having this side information for game stuff that, like, didn't have to be part of it. Um, I think that's really all I'm trying to say. It's just like, it's neat that games now like carry all of the information that you know is required within them um like i don't think you'd see another metal gear like a metal gear solid uh what's uh merrill's codec it's on the back of the box what it's on the back of the box <laughs> um like if you just own the disc for that game or you you bought it digitally or something like how are you supposed to find that codex number yes. codec not codex anyway <laughs> like that game has been re-released hey a level for you congratulations Lavitz oh, have we finished that heckin addition yet for dart no he still needs two flipping hits and we just haven't been able to attack his dart your chance. Yes. Well, you do need to do that right one more time. I have just realized I've made a mistake when I was calculating like experience nonsense. Um, they, they, they are giving you like your current experience and then like your total experience required for a level. Um, there we go. Which means it's not like 3000 experience to the next level. And that makes grinding seem much, much more doable. We still have the problem of, like, I don't know what good grinding is going to do me, aside from, like, more hit points for Shauna. Um, but, you know, 
things and also stuff. <laughs> That should do it for double slash. Congratulations, you have reached the end of the Double Slash journey. I guess we'll go do the two additional points for Burning Rush, which gives fewer points overall. Volcano apparently ended up giving up, giving us 36 points for SP, uh, which is nice. Um, uh, of course, Sean is actually kind of injured. Um, Harpoon is just so, so many more SP than everything else. When did you learn this? Gust of Wind Dance, six additions. Good lord. Alright, uh. Hello, shiny bugs. Heal me. gotta be a way to walk out of here, right? <laughs> I am going to be very upset if I get to the end of this dungeon and there's just like a... Nah. <laughs> yes. expecting to see the damage ring so apparently whoever activates the special is the one that gets the free attack hit everything forever it's so stupid that is so stupid that is so tremendously stupid that you can miss those attacks and that it, like, still goes through the full, like, timed hit button thing. <laughs> like, you still have to go through the entirety of the timed hits, and then you have to watch the full animation, and then miss! Like, that is utter rubbish. Just absolute nonsense. <laughs> oh, I... I... No, no, there's there's just, like, no excuse for that. Like, that is... I don't know. The whole... The whole missing in general already feels bad enough. Okay, you know what? We're, like, three quarters away around the world. We'll pick this back up next time, I think. Um, and continue the rest of the way. And who knows? I guess we'll just go back to our hometown and all that stuff. This poor critter. Top. 
you know what? We're going to get him one more fight, and we're going to let Dart do his thing. Because I'm curious to see what this new attack looks like. There we go. We have now seen Burning Rush. <laughs> now we can save and call it a day. Okay, so at this point, I don't know. Like, again, I feel like I have just flat out missed something important. Um, specifically, you know, some way to uh, put enemies to sleep uh, at all. Like a pers like an item what I could purchase uh, or or like a found reusable item or something or you know magic but uh, sure sure am short on any of those that I've just realized something with this map. So, like, I was... <laughs> From this angle, it's just like, huh, that looks real, like, what's this pixelated edge thing? It's the frame. It is the wooden frame in this aspect. Like, this is actually, like, the 3D modeled space. And we have a little tiny <laughs> dart on top of it. Oh, that is... This game delights in weird ways and is frustrating as heck in others. Um, I think, I think at this point I'm going to go ahead and like try to peek into a walkthrough and just like get an idea of like, hey, this thing, like, what am I missing regarding like being able to put this enemy to sleep? Because I don't have anything. I have no items that I can use to put an enemy to sleep. I can't purchase those items back in uh, whatever that one town is named. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> the town what with the arena. Um, there's like a few different ways about stuff to go through. So it's like I've still got the hometown to return to and like maybe, maybe there's a shop there now. Um, maybe there's a merchant in like one of the woods, like the the on the other side of this prairie back in south south of Serdio or whatever um maybe there's maybe there's a merchant in either like the northern woods or the western woods maybe in the starting town maybe i need to go back to the town with the arena uh i almost had it i lost it um <laughs> Nope, it's gone. Uh, I need to go back to that town and, like, do the dumb minigame stuff. Um, maybe that's what was at the end of the challenge obstacle course, is the, like, I don't know, we'll call it a poker flute, but that's not even what a poker flute does. Uh, the, the sleep, I don't know, the sleepy time, <laughs> sleepy time button. Um, I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't know, and I'm kind of tired of being stuck, and, like, grinding is a miserable experience in this game, honestly, because of just, even, I still need to look at the footage uh, of what I was fighting in Helena Prison and see what the experience rate was there, because, like, in the places that we've been doing fights, it's like, the best I've gotten is, like, 34. And it's like, ooh, extravagant. A whole 34. Um, and it is... <laughs> thankfully, it is not 3,000 experience to level up. But it is still like 1,200 or something? Uh, I guess it's only like... We'll say probably 800. 
that's still like 25 fights though. And that's 25 good fights with like three enemies in them. And that doesn't always happen. Ugh. It's a lot, especially when every combat has like a 10 second like loading in, look at this 3D, it's so neat stuff time and every attack animation takes forever and every attack animation takes forever and every every victory screen takes forever and just like oh this game is in no rush to just let you do things ooh boy oh, again this is just like this was just like a thing about this era of game of, of just like, hey, 3D is neat, isn't it? Look at this 3D stuff that we did. We have a map and we have it like as a 3D thing on this frame. Isn't 3D cool? Look, you can rotate the map in little increments because you can, I guess. Um, anyway, as much as I've been rambling, we could have made it through this, this prairie. <laughs> so I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce. This has been VHS Play. Have yourself a lovely evening.